I've tried to make <laughs> this or, or a video in the last couple of days and yesterday it was raining when I was out with my dog and uh, <clears throat> and it just didn't really work and then the second one uh, this morning when I went into Santa Fe uh, hoping that I could record something um, while I was out walking in town but uh, it was just too noisy there were too many leaf blowers and too many distractions and I just thought no I can't really do that so in the midst of that sense of failure <clears throat> has this um, video arisen and what I wanted to say really as I was kind of contemplating what this was going to be most of what I what I do has to be almost kind of spontaneous and I can't work from any scripting and my sense of recall is uh, not particularly uh, excellent and so you know really I have to open the door and kind of trust or hope that something arises within me within this consciousness that actually is of some use in a way to those who are uh, watching and listening I'm not really I'm only, I'm only interested in serving the, the the truth I'm not really trying to promote my own channel in effect it's like when I write poetry I put a, I put a lot of poetry on x I use poetry uh, I, I use it for poetry and um, I'm, I, I actually write and put out about eight poems short poems you know a, a day and uh, I've been doing that for about two two and a half years and um check it out go come on over to x and and, and follow me cavi g you'll find it I'll, I'll i'll put a link in the in the description below and uh please come and, and join me because some of the poems are well received they're pretty good some of them you know you can cherry pick what works and what doesn't work but i put those out and i wonder why you know why why do i do that and i realized for myself that the less of a reason the, the less of a reason for self that I have in my life, the more able I am to serve something, you know, that feels more true, that feels more honest, that feels more real, you know, that feels more, uh, has more integrity in it. I, I sort of seem to have got, given up a long time ago in trying to get anywhere in life uh, for the self, you know, for my own self, you know, in terms of trying to be a musician or that was the only thing, really. I, I, I tried, a, you know, a, a few things, but I, I think I've always had a kind of creative sense of, of myself and found that my ability to forge ahead in the world in some kind of way or self-promote or anything like that just falls flat, has always fallen flat. And... Um, and so out of that kind of debris, I met or, or I met a motor mom, my wife, who's really a very profound woman and, uh, and, and a fire, I, I think, a fire of kind of truth and, and love and, and not such a personal way, but in a, in a very deeply spiritual way. And uh, so from being with her for the last 20 years and being on a journey from to of coming to america really it, it it sort of changed something in me and i realized that my task is to serve love really to serve truth to serve just this you know without any bells or whistles just the the raw kind of naked beingness of the human experience a kind of melting together or a melding or a, 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 a dance between you know what we call the spiritual and what we call the human because I sort of don't have any idea or any, any sense of the separation of, of those two things anymore and in a way I never did you know but now I can sort of see it and and in a way hopefully articulate it and, and speak to it 
So, in a, you know, coming to the, the, the point of this video, uh, which I don't want to be too long, I don't want to bore you too much, is like, you know, I'm not, I'm not offering any, any kind of fix. I think that, that, you know, what I want to speak to always is the raw essence, the, the flesh and blood, the bones of the human experience of what stands in the way of us living a natural life. What stands in the way of us living, you know, let's say an honest life. And I don't mean superficially honest. I mean deeply honest, deeply integrated and a thoroughly integrated life where, you know, really emotions, feelings, mind and spirit are one, a one moving experience, you know, one living embodied experience which is why really i i speak to the integration of spiritual wisdom or spiritual realization or spiritual philosophy and i speak to the integration of that because i just cannot see any purpose in a way of of just keeping realization if you like for oneself or it remaining just a perennial philosophy. You know, I want to know and I want to speak to, you know, where a philosophy, where a realisation enters the human realm. You know, where does it meet the difficulty of relationship? Where does it meet the difficulty of coming to terms with our own uh, impermanence, with our own bodies, yeah, with, with, with the... Uh, with the movement that we have to take and we have to make in the world because, you know, I don't know where you are at the moment, but the chances are you're watching this on a device, on a phone, on a tablet or on a computer in the world. You're not in a cave. I doubt whether you're in a cave. If you are in a cave, how beautiful. You know, but you're somewhere that's plugged into the matrix and we're all plugged into the matrix, trying to make the best of 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 the uh, modern world, you know, but still trying to find a, a rootedness within ourselves, a deep spiritual embodiment within ourselves. And here we are at this time. We're in a we're in some kind of you know rapidly evolving modernity in in some way. And the the uh, distractions and the intensity of the energies around us are such that you know we're not we're not we're not particularly whole. We're not particularly rooted. We're not particularly rooted in the in the integrity of the deepest of us. And so we you know search maybe for that, or maybe there's a deeper longing in spirituality to find something that's true within us, you know, but then we're pulled into the into you know back into the demands of the matrix, you know, and that makes it very difficult it makes just makes it very difficult. You meet a lot of people who who struggle with 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 how to live this damn spirituality, you know, because I get it, they say, you know, some people say, I get it, I see it, I know the oneness, I know the union, I know the peace within, I can touch it, you know, and then I enter the marketplace and then I get triggered, and then I have this sort of belief that rises up and then there's this reactivity, you know, etc., etc., etc. And then we seek in a way, kind of, you know, on the spiritual path, there are lots of fixes for that. Uh, there's, there's this method, there's this modality, there's this thing, and you feel better about yourself in this way. You can deepen, or you can use meditation practices, or yoga practices. And as I keep saying, none of those in and of themselves are, are wrong. And I, I you know, I, I have done a lot of 
yoga, I have done a lot of meditation, I have done a lot of catharsis, I have done a lot of rebirth, I have done a lot of primal therapy, I have done a lot of, you know, of old shamanic stuff that I did, you know, I've done a lot of things, you know, as mo many people have. And all of those things have been good, man. All of those things have been very worthwhile. And I never disparage and I never pass judgment on the things that we do because only divine intelligence knows the way, you know, and each of us is blessed to have to walk that path alone in so many ways, you know, and it's and it, and it's a, a, a journey we have to make alone, surrounded by other people, who are also alone. So we support each other, we reflect each other, but I mean, telling other people what to do is just not my kind of style, you know, but, and so all of these modalities, they're all beautiful, uh, everything is good. And, and still underneath that, we have to come to the blood and guts of the essentialness of us, of how to live, you know, with trouble, with the impermanence, with the, you know, the very uh, humanness of our experience, because it's pretty tough being a human being. It's pretty tough, yeah? Um, anybody in any circumstances can find it pretty tough. Some people, you know, maybe they don't find it pretty tough, but I know, you know, speaking to the sensitives, let's call it, of us, you know, which is really most of the people on the spiritual journey have turned towards spirituality because they are sensitive. And, you know, I mean, most people, I think, are sensitive in some kind of way. I'm not sure about that when I when I look into politics sometimes, you know, but but, you know, let's say that people who are on the spiritual path or turn towards the spiritual path, you know, have seen a hole or found something, you know, doesn't really work in the world that we we tend to kind of move in out there, let's say. So it's kind of turned towards the spiritual path, seeking something, you know, that embraces, that values, that applauds, that that kind of recognizes their 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 sensitivity. You know, but sensitivity in the world you know, can be really, you know, like this, they can butt up against each other because, you know, we learn that, you know, we have to meet the world somehow from something that's kind of stronger than our true sensitive nature, from our, you know, let's say tenderness and vulnerability, innocence, openness, you know, all of these kind of qualities. And that's where I really like to go. They're the things that I really like to talk about. Openness, tenderness, kindness, yeah? Sensitivity that lurks within us. Because the more we can kind of deepen into allowing those things, even though they're painful, uh, the, the, we touch, become intimate. That's what I like to talk about. Becoming intimate with the, with the deepest feelings of us. Yeah, we go deeper with, our, with, with, with presence and with awareness and with kindness and with openness. We meet ourselves on ever deepening levels. Isn't that exquisite? Isn't that beautiful? As you know, I'm, I didn't see anything more beautiful, really, because there's a universe in, inside us. It's all well and good exploring the outer universe. And I, I think that's a fantastic thing. You know, but but one of the greatest gifts is to explore the inner universe and not just of the mind, but actually of the deep, deep heart. You know, to go inwards and inwards and inwards because there's a universe in there. We open out into the universe. How mysterious is that? You know, we think in our in our um, rational ways that we've got a body and it's this and there are cells and there are bones and there's flesh and all of that is true but the more we penetrate ourselves with awareness and openness and kindness and and the softness of, a, of an awareness that is more heart-based if you like the more we discover the universe within us a space scintillating vibrating space within us and in that, it's like we, we, we discover the harmony of us that is already there. 
kind of non-duality through entering into the into the inner sanctum of the what seems so hard the body itself yeah through the into the emotionality itself we discover a kind of union but that can only be discovered for ourselves otherwise it remains a philosophy a spiritual philosophy and that's fantastic because that's much better than many people are are getting to who are caught still kind of stuck in suffering and uh you know so there, there's great value in in talking about spiritual philosophy and the, you know kind of understanding but then you know where i personally feel that the, the juice really is is to take that and see what that means as i enter into my own experience where does it meet trouble you know where does it meet the hardness of of the past of my wounding of my grievances of my yeah of my retracted innocence where does the energy of awareness of conscious awareness meet you know the hard edges of everything that i've been taught i am in my life because whatever we've been taught that we are in life <clears throat> is only a relative truth it's not the truth truth it's not an absolute truth it's uh, nobody knows what the absolute truth is but it's not a deeper truth what i'm saying is it's relative and there's more there's deeper and deeper and this intimacy that we have the capacity for is just exquisite yeah make no mistake it is just so exquisite the potential for that and so that's what I'm speaking to. And that's the reason that I made this video is the kind of invitation not to, to, to come and join me necessarily, you know, but to, to explore that, to explore that for yourself, you know, explore for yourself. What does that mean to you to go inwards and inwards and inwards? What do you meet on the way? Do you meet great fear? Do you make, meet great anger? Do you meet great resistance? Do you meet anxiety? Do you meet such a sense of sensitivity that you, you know, the, the self rises up and says, no, don't go there. I'm not going to go there. That's the, you know, that's the off limits place. That's the place we don't go. Yeah, that's, that's a warning sign. I was, that's what I was talking about this morning. The bad video in Santa Fe. You know, the ego is a self-protective mechanism. Yeah, it's, that's what it's built for, self-protection. And so, it, you know, it, it, if something is coming along, even though it might be good for us in the long run, it's like the self kind of, you know, has, a, has a, an alert system around. And if it existentially, emotionally, mentally, physically senses that there's something you know, that is just going to be too dangerous and could lead to, you know, I don't know, danger. Yeah, whatever that danger might be, existential danger. Then it says, let's not go there. Don't go there. That's too much. And obviously then uh, the energy body, the subtle energy body responds to that or creates it or responds to it. Doesn't really matter. Chicken and egg, not chicken or egg. And so we kind of pull back from, from going too far. But what I'm really speaking to is a, an ongoing courtship. An ongoing courtship. Yeah, an ongoing love affair that we can have, that we, that we need to have with ourselves and with our own inner world. Because that way something beautiful starts to happen. That's what I'm speaking to. And yeah, I hope that is... A, has kind of uh, given you something to to ponder maybe many blessings take care bye bye